Hi, boys and girls. This is going to be a little show called Mark Ride It and Grant Wood Grass. All right, so first, right here, um, she did an okay job painting it. Really bad brush stroke there. Um, <laughs> and so, what we're going to do is we're going to lighten that up a little bit. Um, so, instead of being like really like earthy like this, we're going to get a little more color to it. We'll see if, uh, how that goes. And so I'm using permanent green, well, yellow ochre, a little bit of the raw umber, going back to that again. And so it's kind of a nice, nice green, but it's a little more on the pretty side. And then um, I'm gonna tone it down a little bit more yellow, but not too much. And then I get a tint of it. So if you want to lighten that up a little bit, if you just scrub a little bit of white in there, we'll get way more contrast. And then right now, as you can see, you can see all those scumbling brush strokes. And right now, they don't look all that great. But I don't care, it's not my project. And we'll be able to get rid of those using, here's my bad brush stroke, going over my last bad brush stroke. But then you can't forget to like get rid of the bad brush strokes. All scumbling, get it in there. Now I'll go more green. And so I'm not mixing up puddles of color. You just take a little bit, like maybe a little raw umber in there. Get those darker on the sides. And then the paint might be a little bit on the thin side. Could have gone a little thicker. So in other words, fresh paint, but don't add any water to it. If you add water, it takes a long time to cover. Then over here on the side, I'll go a little more green. You could also, here's my bad brush stroke again. Watch this. Clean edge. And then you gotta like hide it. Unlike someone did over here. All right, so now I get like kind of a base. I'll go a little more green. You can even add just a titch of black to tone it down a little bit. Then the black's mixed in there. I hold back kind of far on the brush so I can move my hands kind of fast. So I'm doing small strokes so it looks like I really care. If you go like this, same process, but it takes so much longer. You know, we don't got, we don't got time for that. All right. I think it's a cuter color. All right, so now we have that. So then these brush strokes are not that great. So to get rid of that, all you have to do is take a towel and we don't want it to look like a towel. However, I'm gonna tap it, twist, blot it. You can start seeing some of the other color coming through, which is fine. So you have a good base coat. Now it's starting to go dark, lighter on the top. Technically, you should let that dry first, but we don't care. All right, so then I'll go uh, down here on the, the base of this. I'm going to go a little more green, a little more black, and then I'll scrub that in. I want this to sense of going down here a little bit. So I'll scrub that in again. And then once again, this should be dry first. Like I shouldn't be doing this right now. It's like could be accidentally taken off my other layers. I'm going really light. See the side of the brush? I'm not painting like this. Side of the brush, painting. This is hard to blend. Easy, difficult. And then now I start to have a nice little bend to it. So what I can do now is let that dry again. Ooh, excuse me. Ooh, strawberries. I had strawberry yogurt for lunch today. Oh, this has been recorded. Um, so then I'll come in here with a little bit more lighter values. Scumble that in right there on the top. All right, so then that's kind of like a, a good base. Then you can go over that with more. So if this was my project, I'm going to let that dry. I'm going to go over it with another couple layers, very similar colors. Though. All right, that's better than that earthy thing. That's the foreground, you kind of want it to jump. All right, so then we're going to take a smaller brush, like right here. And with this, we don't have scale um, quite yet. However, we're looking down at this. So what I'm gonna do is take uh, a little bit of black, uh, dark green, contrast. And you can do, uh, so Grant Wood here, he does like so many little tiny strokes. He's like, that's all he does. He gets paid like, you know, half a million dollars for this painting. So sure, he can spend like a month doing that, it's fine. 
But we have 11 days to finish this paint, so uh, we're gonna go a little faster. So to do that, I'll mix up the green, darker value, then contrast. Could go lighter, could go darker, so we're gonna take this guy. This is uh, Mark Ryden. Mark Ryden paintings speeds up the process. His paintings are only about 70,000 a piece, so he has to do them a little faster. Uh, so here we go here. And what he does is he'll have some like plants in there, but not like cut printing the whole thing. All right, so I'm gonna come in here now with some plants. A little dark, so here's how you do it. Take the brush, you melt the kitten. Nice little skinny blade. And then when you're doing these, these grasses, come in here, you can go like skinny, wide, and then spin the brush. Give you a nice little skinny edge to it. So then you go skinny, wide, skinny. I'll do another little, little leaflet over here. Then maybe another little one over here. All right, so then you could add a few of these, not the whole thing, and a variety too. So we have that three or four leaf thing. And then I could do a little tuft of grass over here. And then after every little blade, you almost want to like melt the kitten again. Get a permanent green, a little black. Then I'll come in here, uh, pinky out, skinny almost nothing. But I'm not gonna make it look like chicken feet. So in other words, I don't want like three joining each other. It's like fourth grade grass. I used to do that kind of grass. I remember I thought it was cool. Maybe I should do one, just for the heck of it. All right, so I'm doing random little, little guys here. Make sure you don't have a pattern, so skip around here a little bit. Here's another one. Then I'll have some maybe blades coming out of this. There's a variety of techniques over here. And then for the bottom, down here, you can do some larger ones. So we have kind of the biggest one right there. So what I'll do is come in here, I'll maybe add some burnt sienna. Oh, thank goodness I have some. Some of these are a little more red. So I can do burnt sienna and permanent green. <laughs> and then he has like a little fern thing over here, which is pretty cool. I'm so gonna do a fern, skinny lines first. I'm gonna go a little bit darker. A little more burnt sienna. Could go green. And then same thing here. It's like a blade almost. And I'm gonna drag it down, almost nothing. Darker, darker as they come down. Nothing. Darker, darker. Now back to the milk in the kitten. And I got a big blade coming over here and crossing it. After you have that established, then you come in here with the smaller blades and I'll go like green and uh, burnt sienna. For contrast wise, I could go lighter or quite a bit darker. Feeling kind of spicy? I'll go a little bit darker. And with this, you look at the angle of these things. So I'm going to start off here, like a skinny little line. So go skinny to wide. And then same thing over here. Skinny to fat, I'm just pressing down harder. It's kind of cute. Another little blade here. Another little guy over here. So it's a little, little variety, no patterns. Maybe you can do another one of these guys somewhere else. <clears throat> then I'll do a fatter blade on the bottom. All right, and then for contrast, if you want to have more contrast, you could get, uh, there's some like little blossoms that we'll put in there. So you could take a little white, so it looks like a mowed lawn of some weeds, but like cool looking weeds. I have a little bit of blue in here. I could add like a little bit of the blue, blue and white to the tops of these things. I could add a little funny flood horn over here. Oh, it's a little blue guy. Oh, mother F. Whoops, that was recorded too. All right, and then um, so you can continue on with this process. We'll do a pretty decent job. Okay, and that is Mark Ryden meets Grant Wood grass. All right, you guys.